friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming Testing New Makeup episode 28. We've got some new makeup that I've been eyeing that I want to test out because it's been pretty hyped here online. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I usually love to focus on eyeshadow palettes, but today we're actually going to be testing out a new foundation from one of my favorite brands. So this is the new Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint, and I also have the new Huda Beauty Mascara. So if you guys like this type of video, if you love to see somebody test out new makeup, give you guys their first impressions, then this is the place where you highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post, and without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, I have no makeup on right now, not a speck, not even some primer, so we've got to do a full face today, and I'm actually going to film a video within a video, which gets a little crazy, but you guys will be able to keep up, I'm sure of it. So I want to film with the new Cleona eyeshadows, because they sent me their new multi-chromes from the expansion that they're doing on July 20th and so I want to film that separate because if I include all the swatches and all of the shadows this video is going to be so so long so I thought you know what it's okay to test just a few things and put it in a video so we're only going to be testing out four new to me products two I've already owned other versions of but this new hourglass foundation I'm just throwing on the Huda Glowish primer which I haven't used in a hot second so I'm just rubbing that into my skin I'm trying to press it in and honestly I have been trying to buy less makeup but there were so many things that interested me this week as far as new releases go so I did buy the new Patrick Ta blushes I bought um, a lot of hair products actually because I'm trying to get better about styling my hair and just trying different products with it and I also bought Moira. I bought some stuff from Moira Cosmetics and I was tempted to put it in this video but I was like it's gonna get really really hideously long so we're gonna we're gonna compromise we're just gonna do a few things so I was really interested in this hourglass foundation because of course I just love Hourglass in general. It hasn't always been my favorite brand, but with time, I realized that their products work really well and they're very high quality. So this is their Hydrating Skin Tint Foundation and it retails for $49 and this is 1.2 ounces. I picked it up in the shade 11, which is a medium deep with warm undertones. And I actually have the shade 11 in their other foundation, which is one of my all-time favorites. So that one is called the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I think that launched, did that launch earlier this year? I cannot remember to save my life, okay? So I have that foundation, so I just bought it in the same shade. So I haven't done anything with this. I've not worn it, don't know anything about it other than what I just read to you. So let's go ahead and read a little bit more about this foundation. So on the Sephora website, it says it's a lightweight skin tint that boosts moisture levels by up to 52% for a dewy glow and provides a sheer veil of coverage for comfortable all-day wear. So it says it's a light coverage, radiant foundation, and of course all the ingredients are on the Sephora site as well if you guys want to read more into it. So yeah, overall I'm really really excited. It doesn't have a lot of reviews or anything. I will say on the back here it's a sticker that says the shade number which is a little bit kind of cheap for Hourglass. Usually I feel like they, you know, have everything look a little bit more refined but it is what it is. It has a 12 month shelf life and this is made in Italy. So it has this really cool square packaging and I did grab a lot of my other favorite Hourglass products in my collection. I think I actually have enough to do almost a full face except I don't have a primer but I don't usually use primers anyway 
and I don't have any hourglass eyeshadows because their eyeshadows just don't seem like my style. Actually, I lied because I did buy one of their um, shadow sticks. I wasn't a big fan, so I'm going to have to try that out because I did try it the other day, but I didn't love it. So it did come sealed. Let me just give you guys a little close-up of the packaging. It's just a little squeezy tube, so nothing too fancy. But I'm excited to go ahead and try this out. So usually with skin tints, I like to use a brush because it's just easy for me. And so I'm just going to directly apply this onto my skin. And I'm just going to go ahead and buff it on. Wow, this is pretty sheer, huh? Is there even foundation on my face right now? <laughs> it looks very, very sheer. On camera, my face looks very dewy. I feel like there's not a lot of coverage, so that's definitely something to note. It's definitely very much a skin tint <laughs> because it was very hydrating. Um, but I can see like my imperfections, like I have a little friend here that I can still see and a lot of like the discolorations and my skin I can still see which that's fine like not a big deal for me but I just want to mention what I'm noticing because it's my first time applying it so I'm gonna put on some concealer and if you guys have been watching my recent videos I've been loving my Huda Beauty full filter color corrector so I'm just gonna put a little bit on and usually I put this on before I do my foundation, but I kind of forgot. So we're going to go ahead and blend this in. Okay, so now that I have the Huda color corrector on, I'm going to go ahead and put on the Hourglass Concealer. I discovered this last year, and honestly, I feel like this concealer does not get enough hype. I kept talking about it in videos, and a lot of you had mentioned that you also really like this concealer. So I have it in the shade Dune which I can link everything I'm putting on my face in my description box in case you guys want to see what I'm talking about. But I really like this concealer. So we're definitely putting on some extra coverage under the eyes because you guys know, again, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm a little bit insecure about my under eyes and especially with having a pretty young child. Um, sleep is sometimes a luxury that I don't have in my house at this moment. So adding the concealer definitely bumped up the coverage, but I'm not mad about it. It looks really, really good, really perfected and really like how my skin is looking now with the concealer on as well. I almost am tempted to do a layer with my beauty blender but I think I'm just gonna leave it I think I'm just gonna leave it and you guys will have to let me know what you think I feel like this is a really good shade match as well so love this for me so far we'll see how it dries down and stuff like that I am gonna go ahead and set my under eyes just because I did put on quite a bit of under eye makeup so I have been using the hourglass powder. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I actually saw on Trend Mood she had posted that they launched this in two other colors. So now there's a medium and a deep. And honestly, I love this powder. I think it is so flattering under my eyes. And I usually use it to set my face. And I've been like so loyal to the Sigma powder. And I was like, you know, it's time to use some other powders. And I immediately thought of my hourglass powder so I bought it out just in time to remember how much I love this and tell you guys that it's now available in a translucent medium and a translucent deep again I will link it for you guys down below so yeah the base is pretty much done I'm gonna go ahead and put on my brows and do my eye look and then I will be back to try out the Huda Beauty mascara and then I also have a new to me lip combo so we'll go ahead and put that on as well so we can test everything out and talk about it. So okay friends so here is the eye look if you want to see this look you need to wait for the Cleona video that I'm going to be posting 
probably sometime this week, but I had a lot of fun. I swatched their new stained glass shadows. So that'll be up before their big sale on July 20th, but I am in love. So anyway, I did go ahead and line my lips with the Unearthly Lip Liner because Merit Beauty sent me some of their new lip products. So we're gonna go ahead and test those out really quick. I have used this lipstick format from them before as well as their lip, I don't know if this is a gloss or an oil. These labels, y'all, I need to get my eyes checked. Okay, so this is their signature lip and this is in the shade Aperifity, I don't know. But it's like a really pretty bold red shade. And I use Unearthly Lip Pencil in the shade Bad Blood. And I do have the nude shades from this line. But I thought it would be fun to pick up a new red. So yeah, it's a really pretty creamy lipstick. And then we're going to throw on this shade in Maraschino. Like the cherries on top to give it a little sheen, but the only other product I have left to try is the new Huda Beauty Mascara. So this is the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Extra Volumizing and Lifting Mascara. It says it's one brush, one dip, one coat. After just one coat, 98% saw instant curl and lifted lash. 96 saw instant length and 96% saw dramatic volume. So I'm really excited. I've seen a lot of videos and TikToks of people like with very excited captions. And it says this is the shade Very Vanta, Vantana, Vanta, Vanta, Very Vanta. Oops. Why do I keep ripping all the packaging? of stuff so very pretty matte pink packaging so it says the concave side is a reservoir to hold and apply maximum formula in one coat and then the convex side is the longer bristle combs through to build volume and define okay made in italy and it has six month shelf life so i'm a very very excited Ooh, i gotta curl my lashes i always curl my lashes before I put mascara on because that's just what I do. So if I didn't do it this time, I feel like it'd be kind of weird. So let's go ahead and curl the lashes really quick. And I'm really excited. So let's see here. Okay, so you can see the bristles are like pinched in the middle. Um, so let's see. So that's the side I need to use to apply the mascara. And then I use the convex side to comb through, so, okay. I mean, I wouldn't say that one coat has been that impressive, but it definitely gave me some volume. I should have used the comb side, I forgot. Oh my God. I'm just so used to just like not thinking about mascara. Okay, I feel like I've done two layers and now let me just give it a little brush through. Okay, so it looks pretty impressive and full, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how this holds up and if I continue to use it and if it impresses me time after time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something with his hair, throw on some earrings, and I will be right back to give you guys some of my first impression thoughts on the products I tested out today. Okay, friends, so here is the finish look. What do you guys think? Do you like the foundation? What are your thoughts? Also, my video with these new stained glass shadows should be live before their sale starts, so keep an eye out for that. But I really like this look. You guys know I'm a sucker for green eyeshadows, so very, very happy with everything so far. Let me tell you really quick what else I used on my face today. So I did grab some of my Hourglass products and I used the highlighter in this Tiger palette. It's this shade right here. And then for bronzer, I'm wearing the Radiant Bronzer Light 
from Hourglass and the Exhibit A blush, which I haven't reached for in a long time. So it was really fun to play with some of my favorite Hourglass products. My setting spray is the Surf Proof Setting Spray from Cali Ray. So I like to mention the products on my face in case you find that helpful. I will also link them down below for you guys. And I do have a affiliate code with Cleona. So if you're planning on shopping the sale, you can stack an affiliate code. Mine is just KH Makeup. So you can save a little bit extra. So first, I'm not new to this formula, but these are some new shades and a very, very comfortable lip combo. I really like these little lip oil thingies. I can wear them without a lipstick or a lip liner, or you can throw it on over a lip liner. Very flattering. The shade is just gonna be so good for the summertime. So I'm so, so happy that this was sent my way. Love the packaging. I don't have a lot of favorites from Merit, but I will say their lip products are really nice and I also like their bronzer sticks. So thank you to Merit for sending that my way. The mascara, listen, I don't love to buy expensive mascaras. So I'm always very like, um, what's the word, apprehensive when I try a new mascara. I'm very pessimistic. I don't feel like it's ever gonna really knock my socks off. My favorite Sephora mascara is the Tower 28 mascara. And I like this one, but we'll see. We'll see, the jury's still out. I like that it separated my lashes. The brush was pretty intimidating. I do feel like it's a little bit of, you know, a brain exercise to make sure you're like turning it so you're like combing through the lashes and stuff like that. I definitely had to do about two or three coats, so I'm not sure about the one coat situation, but that could just be my personal preference. So I'm very curious to hear what you guys' thoughts are on this mascara in the comments because I know you guys have probably tried this too by now. I will say, I feel like just from the social media posts I saw, it might be getting a little bit overhyped. We'll see. We'll see if it'll stand the test of time. That's how we know if it's a good mascara because I swear I still see people mentioning the Tower 28 mascara and that came out like last year. So I feel like that's the true testament when YouTubers and influencers and content creators are mentioning the stuff years after the launch. I feel like that's when you know you've hit gold. Okay, last but certainly not least is the Hourglass, oh my god, this name, Veil Hydrating Skin Tint in the shade 11. I really like this so far. I'm so excited to continue wearing this. I will test this out in the summer heat and see how long wearing it is and stuff like that. I unfortunately only got to film pretty late at night. That's just what works with my schedule right now. But of course I do wear makeup during the day when I'm going about stuff. I literally just got this and so my husband picked it up for me from Sephora and when he got home it was like six o'clock. It is like 10 o'clock at night when I'm filming this but I was so curious about this. I wanted to try it on and Cleona sent me a package so I wanted to do an eye look anyways. So I can't speak to the longevity of this skin tint but oh my god it feels like there's nothing on my skin. I really, really like the finish. I am just very, very impressed. I'm not surprised though because Hourglass, usually we get along pretty well. So I am very, very excited for the potential of the skin tint. Like I said, I will definitely keep you guys posted. Thank you guys so, so much for checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And I do have a testing makeup playlist. This is episode 28. So if you want to see some of the other videos, highly recommend checking that out. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my Cleona video very, very soon. Bye!